Hey everybody and welcome back to Control. For this episode I'll be doing Old Growth, one of the side missions. Uh, it's probably the last side mission I'll be doing for now and then I'll go back to the main uh, mission because the other side stuff I have, which is Old Friends and Langston's Runaways, seem to be quite long. Um, and anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll take some time I think to do those one, so I'm going to finish Tango in the next video, but for now, old growth. Locate Dr. Underhill below Central Research. Now I'm at Central Research. And I assume I just have to find a way down. And this is kind of the only way I can see. Ah, these are where the mold guys come from, I uh, I assume. I don't want to be stuck down here with the mold men. Does this need to go somewhere? It looks kind of important. Areas under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Huh. Excuse me. Are you lost? Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay, so what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need, here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Oh, what? <laughs> that was me going, yeah, the others are quite long. This will be easy. Look at that. Crows near televisions, toilets, corpses, staircases, and the pit. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a butt coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. 
So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau. Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Okay, time to leave this weirdo behind. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Uh huh. Creep. Uh, mold threshold. Come to Ressi. Director. What's this? Uh, type A grows near fresh corpses. Grows near. Toilets. So it smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. Well that was quick. Went straight from <laughs> don't eat the mold to I wonder how it tastes. How do I get like some of these? I don't know. Um groves near televisions. So I need to find a television. as well that this is going to require me to run around the bureau in general. Ah, let me get that thing. Okay, so, this may not have been the video that I wanted to do, <laughs> I thought this was going to be a bit more straightforward, this might be something I do uh, more long term, I think, rather than here and now. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, it's going to be one of those things I do, I think, just as I come across mold, because I know there's an area somewhere after uh, look it up. But I know there's an area I went through filled with like mole people. And that went on for a while, so I assume there is a bunch of stuff in this list in that area. But I have to try and remember where it is. 
As for now though, I know it's been a short video, but I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, in the next video I'm going to be doing uh, Finish Tango, which is the ma next main mission. And then I'll try and pick what pick one of these. I might do I might be that one. I might just go through this one. Um that'll be the next like side quest I do, side mission. But for the next video I'm gonna be doing Finish Tango. But as for now though, that's pretty much it. Hope you've all enjoyed. If you could leave a like and then hit that comment section, it would be very much appreciated. But until next time, take care.